one thing that was really great that came out in 2022 is um, the NSF OIG with uh, Cotton and Company came out with promising practices. And so, you know, sometimes with audits, we might just focus on the things that didn't go well. But um, here we have some, another, we have focused on some things that our best practices as well as some of the common audit findings so that we can be prepared. So how do we prepare for audits or how do we work to strengthen the internal controls infrastructure for research management? And it's certainly looking at those OIG reports, it's understanding the regulatory basis for it, but it's also you know looking at reports like this. And so the most common audit findings, this is where, you know, like Family Feud, don't you think we should play a game like this? Like survey says, what's the most common audit findings here? Um, I think to no surprise that we can throw this out, you know, tell us in a question or chat, did, are you surprised by this? Unallowable expenses. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think anybody's really surprised about this. This is something that, you know, there are expenses that the government wouldn't want to reimburse you for, the sponsor wouldn't want to reimburse you for. Um, are you surprised about this, Jeff? You, you I'm know? not surprised, but sometimes I'm saddened. I mean, sometimes, and we'll talk about this when we get to the individual audits, but sometimes we're seeing stuff that we really should know about. Um, and, and sometimes it means that, wow, we shifted a whole bunch of our apparatus to the latest and greatest concern that's raised. We can't forget about those old things. You know, what I like to call sort of the, the ABCs of allowability. Yeah. Um, so. So, you know, those never go away, even if tomorrow we're worried about, you know, conflict of interest, uh, we still have to make sure that things are reasonable, necessary, et cetera, et cetera. So yes, they're finding them. Yes, it's the most common. No, I'm not surprised, but yes, I'm a little bit sad. Yeah, and it's really- it's Particularly if they're found in my shop. I, I agree with you. Found in, in any shop. And it's really the foundation of the work that we do. Um, but I will tell you, actually, there's one on this list that really makes me very, very sad. And the one that makes me extremely sad is inadequately supported expenses. And I'll tell you why. Because it doesn't say that they were unallowable. It simply says we weren't able to produce the documentation to be able to substantiate the expense. So to me, that says all of those could have been fine. We, you know, we could have had a non-issue here, but we had a documentation gap, and that's what makes me sad. And in some cases, and this is, you know, part of, of course, the audit process is the audit resolution process. In some cases, you know, the documentation may have been there. People weren't able to produce it until later on. Um, and after the audit was over, you always have a certain amount of time in the audit to produce it. But think about that, you know, if you want to learn from audits, it's not just um, keeping the documentation, it's being able to get it back when you need it. You know, is it in that warehouse? Uh, is it in, you know, a system? Or is it, in fact, you're just assuming it's out there, but it's not. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's certainly, and again, you know, what, is, what does the uniform guidance say about documentation? Does it say you have to have receipts on things? Does it say you have to have, have things in triplicate? What does the uniform guidance say? It says you must all retain. Said, it all, all it says is that uh, the cost must be documented adequately. Yeah. And so there's an opportunity there too that if you as an institution said, you know, you must have, uh, you know, receipts and boarding passes and and baggage claim checks and you know, and, and the empty bag of pretzels to substantiate an airfare. Don't. If you don't have that bag of pretzels and your policy says it is, just the bag, not the pretzels, we don't want the pretzels in our systems, um, you've not met adequate documentation. That may be a finding. And of course, if you have none of those things, it's definitely finding. So remember, the IGs are gonna audit not just to the uniform guidance and the agency's requirements, but they're going to require, they're going to audit to your institutional policies. So you got to make sure you go back and look at those. That's right. And I think, 
you know, related to that, it's also thinking who's responsible for retaining this. I think at, you know, maybe a decentralized institutions or you have many different roles participating in grants management, you know, who is retaining the bag of pretzels? Hopefully, hopefully no one is requiring any bag of pretzels, but, um, you know, who's retaining the receipts that are required to be able to substantiate the expense? So, and, and of course, that should be well laid out in your policy to yeah. say who keeps what and for how long. You know, yeah. we know we know what the requirement is on on an NSF award. It's going to be three years from the filing of the uh, final report. So nominally, three you know three years and 120 days from the from the expiration. But you may have state requirements, you may have institutional requirements, who knows, that go. And it's always, of course, the longest of those requirements you have to have things for. Yeah. Um, and I think another one that's, you know, nothing new, shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, inappropriately allocated costs. Uh, you know, are we charging awards in proportion to the benefit they received? Or, you know, is salary being allocated in proportion to how much time someone worked on a project? These are not new concepts here. Um, and non-compliance with policies and procedures could be internal policies and procedures, um, not even just sponsored policies and procedures. Um, and then we have the inappropriately applied indirect costs, which I think we're going to get into in a little bit, Jeff. So I, I don't know if you want to talk about this now or we'll talk about this. No, we should talk about it in, in, in uh, one of the audits we're looking at. Okay. Uh -huh.